hello everyone in today's video we are going to discuss how to make a auto run script who automatically capture the person who turns on your laptop and also send you a email alert on your email to notify you that who is the person at what time who turn, turns on your laptop also we can see in the whole tutorial that how we can proceed the whole process of auto run script means in this video we are going to implement the auto run script in linux i am using ubuntu 22.04 but the method is same for all linux distributions first of all we have a look on the output of our today's task let's move towards the output then we will proceed towards the whole process the whole implementation the whole python code the settings required to apply the auto run script of python in linux and in the next video we will also discuss how auto run script will execute on windows first of all in today's video before starting the implementation process we have a look on the output of today's video so here we restart the our laptop and see what will happen so here we So here we see the laptop is going to restart. Let's wait for restarting. So here you can see on the camera. Here you see the blink is happened so it means it captured our pic and now we have a look on now i give my password so now we can see the script is auto run successfully So you can see here the picture. So you can see here the picture 20, 2023 12 15 144 according to the time. The time and date it captures the peak. Also, it send a mail alert. So here we can see so according to the script until the laptop is not connected with the lab internet it waits for the email alert so as it connected with the internet it will send the email alert so now we check the email that it works or not so here we open our mail and check out so here we can see on 146 here is the message it also send a email alert first is to capture the person with date and time who turns on your laptop and also send a email alert now we will forward towards the implementation process so now let's move towards the implementation process so in linux to have a python script run automatically when your ubuntu starts we can use a combination of systemd and service unit so what are these and how we can implement them the whole process we will discuss in this video so first of all we have to make a 
service file for this we have to use a systemd and the command we will execute is sudo nano and the path we follow is etc systemd and in this system and here we will name our service name so we put it main sorry our script dot service okay and press enter after entering password so here first of all we have to make a unit okay and press enter here we have to write a description so it is just description uh, here we write my artoran python script who capture the person who turns on my laptop with date and time also send me a alert message in email form okay so it is our description after this we have to make a service the service we need start execution execution start is equal to user bin and python 3 so in this in your case you can use python 3 okay so i am using multiple uh, versions of python so i am using their 3.11 but you can use python 3 okay and enter space again the path of the script user local bin and our script name main dot py okay then we have to give our working directory so our working directory is equal to where our script is going to implement it and that path is user local bin okay and the next is restart is equal to no means it will only enable when our system is going to restart so after this remain after exist so remain after exist is equal to yes it is small okay and the next and the last is install so here we have to write wanted by so wanted by all the user yani if you can create multi users so in that case it will also be executed so we we write here multi user dot target 
okay so here is our service file first of all we have to write unit in the unit we have to write description and then the portion is service in service we have to write first our compiler means you can use python 3 here i am using python 3.11 but you can use python 3 and after space you have to write the path where our script is placed then we have to write a working directory and then the two options restart is equal to no remain after exit is equal to yes and the last portion is install in this install we allow it for multi users and wanted by is equal to multi user dot target so here we press control x uh, first control s so it saved and then press control x okay so our service script is ready our system d script is ready now we have to make a script of python which we are going to execute so after the service file now we have to make a script of python so the path we give is sudo user local bin and the name is main dot py ok press enter and entering password now we have make a python script which automatically capture the person who turns on your laptop and also send you a mail alert so starting first of all import smt okay after this from
so here I just copy and paste the whole code because it takes time so first of all we have to import SMT blip okay it is a email protocol in Python a module to handle email okay so then from email dot mime dot text import mime text from email dot mime dot multi part import my multi part then we have to import socket to get IP address so it is a basic networking library from date time import date time from after this import platform import psutil import cv2 it is just a open cv module then os path lib time and requests okay these are the modules we are going to use then we have to make a function which check out that the internet is connected or not first of all try response is equal to requests dot get www.google.com timeout is equal to 5 second response dot rise fast status return true means first of all it try that the this url successfully give any response or not if give return true otherwise request exception calls then we have to send an email with status of laptop in this function first of all we have to write a sender email and then center password so it is the important step here the sender email you must have login so what you do next I will show at the end of this video you just replace the sender email and sender password and the recipient email I will uh, tell you the method at the end of the video but in this video oh sorry in uh, but during that time I am just explain the code so this portion we will discuss at the end okay and also I will tell you how you can do and what replace you uh, what replacement you can do okay so in next we get laptop status information first of all host name IP address OS information processors CPU usage disk usage total disk space <coughs> use disk space bat information <coughs> so bat in first we say bat information is equal to battery state and not available then if battery available okay then you can say also send us it is char it is going to charging or not and if it is going to charging or charged tell me the percentage okay then just create a subject for the email sending process current time date time dot str time and use some of these features to why for year month date hours minutes and seconds okay then we make first of all simple message and then all of them <coughs> accomplished in one okay then just here message from sender email message to recipient email and message subject which is here then message dot attach mime text the all messages these all messages stored in one variable message here and send them so next we first of all check the SMTP server gmail ok so try SMTP this is the URL and it is its value 587 then just copy paste them <coughs> so what we do sir we uh, tell the server send mail who whom one sender email from sender email to the recipient email what message dot as string all the message sent so if it is not uh, successfully executed so error email sending failed then we have make a function of capture and save photo so here we capture is equal to cv2.video capture 
then we make it a video red frame dot cap dot read then we show we give here the directory where it is going to be stored desktop folder home sn desktop and in the home the directory is sn and in sn there is a directory desktop in desktop create a new directory laptop monitor photos <coughs> and in that make it so here we tell after capturing the photo where we have to save it and how so here current time is here according to the time when we capture the photo save the date time and name the photo with person photo with current time is here and what is the current time is here it is the information of year month date with all minutes and seconds and this is for just hour so here release the camera means turn off the camera so here just if name is equal to main first of all we capture and save photo then check out until the internet is not connected wait 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 and if it is going to be connected so internet connection is established and send the status email so this is the whole code <coughs> whole script code okay which is going to be executed on auto run of linux now i tell you this how you can do this here sender in this sender email you can just put your own mail i am writing okay wait a while so what you do write here your email you want to use okay so make sure the email you use here is enabled with two factor authentication okay so after this you can do so after the email make sure your two factor authentication is enabled then go to open your dat email like that so go on google.com from there go to your account and in this search bar enter password so here you can see app passwords select it so just give you the password okay so you can see here so just you write here your name i just put th mm, just put 0724 and create so here it gives you one time you have to just copy it from there <coughs> and done and place here in this okay and also uh, here send the uh, after paste the code here okay then this is recipient email the email whom you want to send the email yani the person who uh, whom you want to be alert that your laptop is installed uh, and you want to inform him by email that your laptop is installed and uh, <coughs> this is the uh, your status of your laptop okay so it's okay, uh, from there all the process successfully completed uh, our system d our service unit our python script so <coughs> after this we have to just enable it so for this we have to use so we have to save it control s control x so we use sudo system d enable so we 
wait a while so you just use sorry not use system d now we use system ctl so you do use sudo system ctl enable the script name we use our script dot service okay our script dot service and just enter uh, and it will execute successfully so after this our whole process is <coughs> completed now you just going to restart and check out that uh, it will capture your photo your or means anyone who turns on your laptop and also send you an email alert until your laptop is going to be connected with internet thank you for watching if you have any kind of error you can ask me in your comment section also i paste my whatsapp link number link just going to access it that and ask me the question if you find any <coughs> error and if you have any query about it you can ask thank you for watching take care